Good morning, my friends. Now I see it says two minutes and 53 seconds. So I have been talking all this time. I apologize. One of these days, one of these days I'll get it, my friends. Welcome to William Jean's Memorial Library Sensory Storytime. I'm Miss Rachel and it's so good to have you here for Sensory Storytime. If I'm repeating this, I apologize, but I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today together. We're going to start with our welcome song and we have some wonderful friends to sing to this morning. Then we're going to read our first book about underpants. Then we'll do another song. And then we're going to do another book about underpants. We'll do our shaker song so you can get something ready to shake, whether it is shaker eggs like I have here at the library or a rattle or some keys or a maraca or a homemade thing to shake, whatever you have that makes a noise when you go like this. Then we'll do our scarf song. And again, you don't have to use a story time scarf like I have. You can use anything that you can wave around. And then I will end blowing bubbles to you. So let's start by singing good morning to all of our wonderful friends that are watching. And if I don't sing your name, it means I didn't know that you were watching, but you can certainly say hi to me in the comments if you're watching this live, and I will be happy to add your name to our song, because I am so glad you're here. Let's start out with our friend Virginia. Let's all clap, because Virginia is here, Virginia is here, Virginia is here. Let's all clap, because Virginia is here, Virginia is here today. And I see Lily is here. Hi, Lily. Let's all clap, because Lily is here, Lily is here, Lily is here. Let's all clap, because Lily is here, Lily is here today. Let's all clap, because Jacob is here, Jacob is here, Jacob is here. Let's all clap, because Jacob is here, Jacob is here today. Let's all clap, because Luke is here, Luke is here, Luke is here. Let's all clap, because Luke is here, Luke is here today. Let's all clap, because Clara is here, Clara is here, Clara is here. Let's all clap, because Clara is here, Clara is here today. Let's all clap because Casey is here, Casey is here, Casey is here. Let's all clap because Casey is here, Casey is here today. And Sherman is here. Hi, Sherman. Let's all clap because Sherman is here, Sherman is here, Sherman is here. Let's all clap because Sherman is here, Sherman is here today. Let's all clap because Ibrahim is here, Ibrahim is here, Ibrahim is here. Let's all clap because Ibrahim is here, Ibrahim is here today. Let's all clap because Isa is here, Isa is here, Isa is here. Let's all clap because Isa is here, Isa is here today. Let's see. Claire and Isla are here. Good morning. Let's all clap because Claire is here, Claire is here, Claire is here. Let's all clap because Claire is here, Claire is here today. Let's all clap because Isla is here, Isla is here, Isla is here. Let's all clap because Isla is here, Isla is here today. And of course I know my friends Lucas and Lorenzo are here. Let's all clap because Lucas is here, Lucas is here, Lucas is here. Let's all clap because Lucas is here, Lucas is here today. Let's all clap because Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here. Let's all clap because Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here today. I am so glad you're all here, my friends, on this rainy morning. I bet you're Glad that you're inside, staying nice and dry. I got a little bit wet coming into the library, but now I'm all dried off and ready to read our first book. You know what I said about underpants. This one is called The Day We Danced in Underpants. 
My goodness. This is by Sarah Wilson, and it's illustrated by Katherine Stock. I'm going to move over here so I can show you the pictures. And we're going to read this book about dancing in her underpants today with permission from the publisher, Tricycle Press. Here we go. One bright and breezy summer's day, an invitation came our way to picnic with the King of France, his court, his cows, his cats, his plants. So Papa bought a pair of pants, sunny dappled dancing pants. See, his dancing pants. And took me off to travel France with two big dogs and three wild ants. There are the ants. A musical bunch by day and night, we danced through France a jolly sight until with every swoop and spin, poor Papa's pants began to thin. On picnic day, the air dawned sweet. We overdressed from head to feet. We sewed on bells, we ribboned dogs. We started out with jigs and jogs. And then the sun began to roast until we felt like buttered toast. My ruffled ants, weighed down by laces, pulled off shoes and mopped their faces. They were getting hot like we've been so hot these last couple weeks. We reached the palace drooped like roses, dogs on shoulders, sunburned noses. Papa smiled and bravely bowed, politely as tight pants allowed. The court was waiting, gates flung wide, while courtiers welcomed us inside. To gilded mirrors and lavish halls, where cupids danced on painted walls. My three delighted ants cried, ooh, as pages rushed with great ado to brush our dogs and lead us on down marble steps to sprawling lawn. Look at this fancy party. Our lunch was in a shady glade with chairs and tables lushly laid with plates of melting French eclairs and hedges trimmed to look like bears. See the bushes? They're cut in the shapes of bears and so many fancy things to eat. We joined the king, our royal host, while counselors followed stiff as posts. We're all as boiled as codfish stew, one whispered low. Aren't you warm too? Such a hot day. The king and queen each took their place and all was quiet for the grace. Then Papa tried to take his chair and we heard a thunderous tear. Five choristers about to sing were pelted with a zip zack zing as buttons shot from here to there and we saw Papa's underwear. A mustache twitched, a necklace popped Wigs fell askew, gold platters dropped. The startled king stood by amazed. His courtiers gasped, their eyebrows raised. The queen appeared to keep her wits, but then broke into giggling fits. Her footman tittered, handmaid squeaked. Poor Papa blushed from head to feet. 
guests fell down, they laughed so hard. They rolled across the picnic yard. The king drew tall and raised his hand for us to quiet down and stand. His deep voice boomed. I now declare we all strip to our underwear. All? Everybody? Yes. And so we peeled to underclothes, to stripes and checks, to hearts and bows, and gladly let the breezes pass while dancing on the cool, cool grass. Musicians struck a merry song. The afternoon turned bright and long. The fountains splashed, the statues gleamed. My three aunts hugged and Papa beamed. These might look a little different than underpants you're used to seeing, don't they? They're very long. That's what fancy underpants a long time ago used to look like. They came all the way down to their knees. But it was much cooler than all their fancy clothes. The king himself begged, please do stay, and thanked us for a splendid day. So on I danced with the rosy queen who taught us all a new routine before the cheering court of France and all because of Papa's pants. There's Papa's pants. The ones that were too tight and fancy and so they ripped. And then everybody took off their pants and danced in their underwear on that hot, hot day. I wonder if on a hot day you like to dance around your house in your underpants. You ever do that? Today is not quite so hot. It's just wet and rainy, but we have had some hot days lately, haven't we? Very hot. Are you ready to sing a song? We're not gonna dance in our underpants along with this song, but we are gonna have a good time and get moving a little bit. You ready? We'll just start with clapping. We'll keep it easy to start. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping at story time. Let's go a little faster. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping at story time. Good. All right. Now we're ready to do a little more. Let's all do a little wiggling. Let's all do a little wiggling. Let's all do a little wiggling at story time. Let's all do a little stretching. Let's all do a little stretching. Let's all do a little stretching. <sighs> it's story time. Better wake myself up. Let's all do a little bouncing. Let's all do a little bouncing. Let's all do a little bouncing. It's story time. I like that one. Let's do that one again. Let's all do a little bouncing. Let's all do a little bouncing. Let's all do a little bouncing. It's story time. Let's all do a little. This is a hard one, but you'll never learn to do it if you don't practice. Let's all do a little snapping. Let's all do a little snapping. Let's all do a little snapping at story time. Let's all do a little snuggling. Let's all do a little snuggling. Let's all do a little snuggling at story time. Now, let's jump. I'm going to jump and I'm going to jump right off the screen. And then I'll come back down and you can jump too, okay? Let's all do a little jumping. Let's all do a little jumping. Let's all do a little jumping at story time. Let's all do a little kissing. Let's all do a little kissing. Let's all do a little kissing at story time. Let's all do a little tickling. Let's all do a little tickling. Let's all do a little tickling at story time. Do you have anybody next to you that you can tickle? It's hard to tickle yourself. It doesn't feel quite as ticklish. So if there's somebody near you that you can tickle that gives you permission to tickle them. Let's do that one again. Let's all do a little tickling. Let's all do a little tickling. Let's all do a little tickling at story time. Let's all do a little patting. Let's all do a little patting. Let's all do a little patting at story time. 
We'll do clapping one more time to finish, but we'll do it really fast. And we'll do it two times. You ready? Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. It's story time. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. It's story time. Did you keep up? I tried to go really fast. I wonder if you did. You ready for another underwear book? This one is called Polar Bears Underwear by Tupura Tupura. And we're going to read this one with permission from the publisher, Chronicle Books. Polar Bears Underwear. Let's get close enough so you can see. Polar Bear, Polar Bear. He can't find his underwear. What's the matter? Asks his friend Mouse. I've lost my underwear. What kind of underwear were you wearing today, Polar Bear? I can't remember. Don't worry, Polar Bear. We'll look for it together. Thank you, Mouse. Look at this colorful striped underwear. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No, this is not my underwear. Whose underwear is it? <gasps> it's Zebra's underwear. And it's his favorite pair, too. This pair has treats all over it. It looks delicious. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No, it isn't mine, Mouse. Whose underwear is it? Nom, nom, nom. It's Pig's underwear. Here's an itty bitty tiny pair of underwear with flowers. This pair looks too small for you, Polar Bear. I agree. But whose underwear is it? It's Butterfly's underwear. Just right for Butterfly. This underwear says, I love mice. This must be your pair, Polar Bear. No, this is not my underwear at all. Well, whose underwear is it? Oh no, it's Cat's underwear. Wow, polka dot underwear with ruffles. This isn't your pair, Polar Bear, is it? Hmm, let me have a look. Wiggle, wiggle. It's Squid's underwear, and he has 10 legs. This pair of carrot underwear is upside down. Is this your pair, Polar Bear? No way. But whose underwear is it? <gasps> it's Bunny's underwear and it looks great on her head. Hmm, here is some white underwear. Whose pair could this be? Look closer. Polar bear, you are wearing your underwear. Your pair isn't lost at all. Oh, 
I forgot. I put on my new white underwear today. I had no idea. I was wearing my underwear all along, Mouse. I'm glad that you found your pair, Polar Bear. Polar Bear's underwear so clean and so white. He loves his pair because it's bright. Polar Bear's underwear so comfy and new. Would you like to wear a pair too? I wonder if you're wearing white underwear or carrot underwear or ruffled polka dotted blue underwear or teeny tiny little flowered underwear or underwear that say I love mice or striped underwear. So many different kinds of underwear and poor polar bear didn't realize his new bright, clean white underwear just camouflaged against his beautiful white fur. Can you believe that? Poor polar bear. Are you ready to shake? Just like I said at the beginning, you can use anything that makes a shaky sound. Here's a water bottle with dried beans in it. Here's a plastic tub with quinoa, dried, not cooked, in it. Here's some little water bottles with rice, not cooked. So anything you have that shakes, even if you don't have something that shakes, you can pretend and you can just dance right along with us. I have my red shaker eggs and we are ready to shake. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it.
But now that we're nice and quiet, I can hear it again. I wonder where you are, if you can hear the wind. Do you hear the wind? We're going to make a little bit more noise again now to do our scarf song. We haven't done this one in a while. You can use anything you like to wave around. You can use a paper napkin. You could use, this is not a paper napkin, this is a cloth napkin. You can use a cloth napkin or a paper napkin or a paper towel or a piece of toilet paper or a tissue as long as it's clean. You can use a t-shirt. You can use a scarf. You probably don't have any winter scarves left out, but maybe somebody in your house likes to wear fancy scarves for decorations. You could use that. You could use a story time scarf like this if you have one at home. Or you can just wave around your hands. Whatever you have, you can use. We are going to do the song about the senorita with a flower in her hair. And our scarf is going to be a flower. Are you ready? One day when I was walking, walking to the fair, I met a senorita with a flower in her hair. Oh, shake it, baby, shake it, shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Oh, shake it to the bottom, shake it to the top. Shake it round and round and round until she hollers, stop! Let's do a little faster. One day when I was walking, walking to the fair, I met a senorita with a flower in her hair. Oh, shake it, baby, shake it, shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Oh, shake it to the bottom, shake it to the top. Shake it round and round and round until she hollers, stop! One day when I was walking, walking to the fair, I met a senorita with a flower in her hair. Oh, shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it if you can, shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Oh, shake it to the bottom, shake it to the top. Shake it round and round and round and round and round and round and round. Shake it round and round and round and round and round and round and round. Shake it round and round and round and round and round and round and round until she hollers. Stop! Did I trick you? Did you stop in time? Let's do it one more time. You ready? One day when I was walking, walking to the fair, I met a senorita with a flower in her hair. Oh, shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Oh, shake it to the bottom. Shake it to the top. Shake it round and round and round until she Hollers. Stop. Very good, my friends. Very good. We have come to the end of our time together, and all we have left is to blow bubbles. So, if you are allowed to blow bubbles in your house, you can get them out, but probably you're not. I'm going to cover up my keyboard here. So, you can see if you can try to follow with your finger, your eyes, the bubbles that you see on the screen that I will blow for you. I'm trying to cover up books so they don't get bubbles on them. There we go. Now we're ready. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. Bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, there are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air, everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, there are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles.
levels way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, and they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye, say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye, say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye till next time. It's been so wonderful to spend a little bit of our morning together. Thank you so much for joining me, my friends. I hope you have a nice and cozy and dry day inside today. And I hope I will see you next.